Welcome back to 7-Minute Options on Monday, June 28. I need to open some positions here. My buying power is up above 6,000 and I'd like to get some money. And the only way I can make some money here is if I open up some more positions. So I saw QQQ here and the big thing that caught me about QQQ that caught my eye here was A, that it's been above its 20-day moving average for the entire month of June, right? I mean, this back here is like June 4th. And right now we're at June 28th. It's been above this 20-day moving average the entire time. It's been going almost up the entire month of June. And the RSI is well above its, its oversold status. So I'm expecting some kind of a turnaround, some kind of a pullback. And maybe what I should do now is just sell a, a, a credit call spread, wait for it to turn around, and then sell a credit put spread. Um, or just sell an iron condor right now. But um, I think right now to keep it safe, I'll just open up a credit call spread and let's see what that looks like. So my options right now are a weekly expiration 39 days away or a monthly expiration 53 days away. The July 16th expiration 18 days away. Actually, the, there's no point in me entering one there. I mean, actually, I should be closing positions that are 18 days from expiration or rolling them. So let's try the 39 days and see how wide the markets are. You know, the markets here on QQQ are pretty tight here, three to four cents in most of these. So uh, there's enough people in here in some of these strikes that I feel comfortable selling this. So let's see what happens if I go out here uh, just outside the expected move. Actually, you know what? Because it is so high, it is a little bit um, above the uh, oversold area. I'm actually okay going to 30 delta range and see what kind of premium we get. If we put on $5 of risk, that's 363, 368. I would get $142 just from the call spread. And let's see where 363 looks like on the graph. That's up here. Um, and so again, normally I wouldn't be this close, but um, again, this has been consistently above its moving, uh, moving average. It is oversold uh, according to RSI. So I'm going to sell 363 call spread, credit call spread and wait for some kind of a turnaround. So 39 days away, that gives us 143 bucks. Um, I lose $358 of buying power, but I pick up 1.6 theta, which is excellent. If I go out to the monthly expiration in August 20th, the same position gets me 167 in credit, but that's two extra weeks, right? Between August 20th there and August 6th there. So two extra weeks for QQQ to kind of go up and, and challenge my short strike here. So um, I actually feel pretty good, about the, pretty good about this one. It's 142 in credit. And again, it's a credit call spread. And so if as soon as this, this thing starts moving down, um, I am going to start collecting the, the premium pretty quickly here. So I'm going to try to open this one up at the 363 level. And I'm going to put that line in on the graph. 363. Wow, it's just off the graph there, which is good. Let's see. There we go. So that ends up being right there. And August 6th, just to give us an idea of where that is on the time, August 6th is right there. So if this thing continues to go up the way it has, uh, we are going to get challenged on this. Um, but I do expect this to pull back at some point, right? Um, and so I feel pretty comfortable about this one. It's a 30 delta strike, a little bit closer than I usually go, but I mean, that's where I got to go to get the credit I need because the IV is really low. And I think it's a good setup for it as well. So again, the plan is if it goes sideways or goes up, um, hopefully I can just collect about half my credit. That's my goal. So a profit of, of about 70 bucks. If this actually starts selling off and goes through a bit of a correction like it did over here, then I'm going to wait for it to cross the 20 day moving average line, and then I'll sell it put credit spread at no additional buying power, right? Because I would just be turning it into an iron condor at no additional risk and just collect a little bit more premium that way. All right, so that one is 143, 143. All right, I mean, it is a weekly, maybe it's a little bit more difficult to fill, but let's try the 142. And it's filled at 142, perfect. Um, and that's only, let's see, QQQ. There we go, and I can already put the GTC order in for that. I'm going to go for 70, which would be half of it, minus the $2 for the commission. So I'm going to close this position, try to buy it back for 70. And that's a GTC order, and that's in. All right, quick video there.
Thanks very much.